cooking easy. So this is, I mean, this is as easy as it gets. It's one chicken, and you're going to make it in the same pan. You're going to make three different recipes, okay? Yeah. Claire Tansy is going to show you how. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. be, uh, we're gonna have fajita chicken, we're gonna have honey garlic chicken, and we're also gonna do a cordon bleu. Yep. All of that's so happening. So this is my favorite kind of cooking where you get your one pan and yep. you throw down some tin foil. Yeah. And look at this is a couple of gorgeous skinless boneless chicken breasts. They're beautiful. They're they are quite lovely. And we're gonna mm -hmm. make a little spice mix: chili powder, oregano, uh, garlic powder, and um, that guy there. Something salt. else. Salt. Salt. Yes. Hard to hard to remember all these spices. <laughs> so that's just a little mixture with some uh, with some canola oil, and some of that goes on there. Okay. So that's going to make this into a, like a fajita y chicken. Got it. And uh, we're going to bake this all in one pan with some peppers and onions. Mm -hmm. And they are also going to get the spice mix. Nice. So it's all going to be the same, right? Spread it all around. Spread it all around. And I also, I have to just talk to you about this vegetable, which maybe is unfamiliar to you because I certainly never, ever, ever cook with green peppers. Oh, you don't? I know. Do some, you? I, well, you know what? I always get the red ones and the orange ones and the yellow ones. The green ones exactly. are sort of left aside. The, gra the green ones, which of course are always cheaper. Yeah, they are. They also have have a very particular flavor and I find yeah. that gets all over everything and I can tell you I'm just finishing my the first draft of my first cookbook. Oh it's exciting. Which is very exciting. Not a single green pepper in it. Didn't Not a single it. one. But Much maligned. I think it's Massimo Capra. He, he can't stand them. <laughs> It's all Massimo's fault. It's all, yeah, he can't stand them. There's one of our chefs that cannot stand them. Yeah. So you, you've made peace with them? When it comes to fajitas, you mm -hmm. need a green pepper. Okay. You know, you remember the sizzling platter that... you used to get like at the Tex-Mex restaurant? Yes. Uh, it always has the green pepper on it. So that gets a little tossed around. Oh, I'm not doing very well with that. It literally <laughs> all goes on one pan and I promise it fits. I do promise. <laughs> and then that bakes for 35 minutes. Okay. And then here's my favorite part. You get yourself some grated cheese. Cheese, okay. Put it over the top, yeah. and then it melts. Ooh, nice. Now I slice these up and I put them in hard tacos because um, I have a five-year-old. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you could put them in soft tacos. You could just eat them like that. Yes. You could put them on a salad. That's really, amazing. Really, really yummy, and they stay really, really moist and juicy, which is a great thing for boneless, skinless chicken breasts because it's yes. not always the case. What happens with uh, boneless, uh, skinless chicken breast is that we get bored. That's so the that's other thing. what's so smart yeah. about having different toppings for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now this time we're going to make honey garlic. Honey garlic. So that's first a I just soak them in some lemon juice. Okay. Uh, like Ziploc bag. Yep. Uh, you know, a little bit of lemon juice. And that is going to do two things. Bring a ton of flavor. Mm -hmm. Keep them really moist and juicy. Nice. You can just do them with the lemon juice, but cook them halfway. And then, oh, where's my garlic powder? Garlic powder is my favorite ingredient right now because you don't have to chop it. You right. just open the jar and it's ready for you. <laughs> There's a little bit of honey, a little bit of soy sauce. Obviously, if you read the recipe, I have the exact measurements for you. Cityline.ca for that recipe. Always. All the recipes. And again, I would do this normally with four, but I only had one large pan available. So okay. I, I used it for the fajitas. Yeah, we got okay, it. Okay, so I cook them for 10 minutes. I'm going to flip them upside down, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to start brushing them with this honey garlic sauce. Mm. And then into that, that pan, because we need to have a vegetable component. We do. Well, broccoli action. Okay. Broccoli, toss it with a little bit of canola oil uh, or whatever vegetable oil and salt, and it roasts up. Yummy! Oh, and really And then this nice. gets all golden glazed. So flavorful. Yep. Again, serve it with rice and broccoli, uh, serve it on its own, have it the next day cold. Yep. Uh, really, really good and delicious. Slice it up, put it on top of a salad, you do whatever you want. Broccoli. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> so you put the broccoli on there, <laughs> yeah. throw it all in the oven, uh, and that'll be that. One of my most favorite, though, yeah. is chicken cordon bleu. Yeah, which is so, so fancy. So fancy. And so chicken cordon bleu stuffed with ham and Swiss cheese, mm -hmm. got a nice little, usually it's like, breaded and fried. Yes. So what I did here, let me just show you this little beauty. I took the chicken breast. So again, same concept. One pan. I just, like I said, I only have these two pans, people. I couldn't <laughs> bring in another one. I took a little slice of ham and a slice of cheese, just tucked it in between the chicken breast and the chicken, like the tender part. Yep. So you don't even really have to slice it. Mixed some breadcrumbs with some oil, put that on top. Roast some potatoes along the same pan. Mm -hmm. Five minutes before it's done, you chuck on a whole head of spare, a whole bunch of asparagus. It's amazing. And then this is a fancy supper. Yes, that is. Right? Yeah. And also the cheese melts out of the chicken breast. <gasps> and as you're taking it off the pan, you get to eat those crunchy little bits of cheese. Yeah. See so all the so exciting fun. moments you can have with these recipes. <laughs> Maybe they're only exciting for me. <laughs> no, I get it. Yeah, I feel you. Good. So really cityline.ca for these recipes, Always. and I love that you're keeping it easy for us in the kitchen so Always. that we actually cook. That's important. Yeah, and cleanup is easy too. And cleanup is easy too. Right. Let's